good afternoon. A week of change weather-wise and a weekend of contrasts. Yesterday we had 25 degrees Celsius in Glasgow. Today it's more likely in the strong sunshine further south across England and Wales. But the contrast is what's happening around the North Sea coast and some Irish sea coasts. It's chilly. 11 or 12 degrees Celsius. You can see that sea har and fret here, also around the Cardigan Bay area. And that could, as I say, in a few spots linger throughout the day. It's a bit more cloud across northern and central Scotland as well. But further south, we've got that warmth building now. So it could trigger the odd slow moving thunderstorm, as we saw yesterday, but nowhere near as many. In fact, many places will escape fine and dry, chilly near the east coast, as I say, one or two showers up through Cumbria, perhaps one or two for Northern Ireland and across southern Scotland. But the cloud of northern Scotland, just thick enough for the odd spot of drizzle in places. And through this evening and overnight, as the storms fade away, the cloud, mist and fog roll back in off the sea widely. It'll be a slightly chillier night, fresher than last night, I think. There'll even be a few pockets of fog further west under those clear skies. So again, it could be quite grey and misty to start the new working week for many of us, but clouds in the low, misty, murky conditions should retreat back to the coast. And it's a better chance tomorrow that that will clear that low cloud from the east coast. We will have rather more cloud in Scotland again, perhaps one or two showers popping up the likes of Northern Ireland and again in western areas, but not being ruled out elsewhere. And as you can see, temperatures will be a little bit down on those of today, just a slight northerly drift really tomorrow. Then, as those showers fade tomorrow evening and we go through the night, there's a chance that we'll actually start to import a few more showers, a, a weather front coming into the west, a few showers coming into the east, but it does look chillier tomorrow night. Not really frosty, but four or five is quite cool for this time of year. Then as we head into Tuesday, there's a risk that we'll see rather more showers coming in on this weather front across the west and then also these showers moving in across northern England, perhaps Scotland, parts of Wales as well, the odd homegrown one. So again, temperatures could get up to 21-ish, but generally around about a little bit above average, I think, for the first part of the week. And then the fly in the ointment, the uncertainty. As we go through Tuesday night into Wednesday, it looks like low pressure will move in from the southeast, bringing more general, more widespread rain, potentially thundery rain and some stronger winds as well. So it does look increasingly unsettled for Wednesday. Wednesday and Thursday, in fact, with showers further west as well, under the influence of low pressure, there'll be some fairly strong winds. And as you can appreciate, temperatures will dip down because there's just more clouds. So we're closer to average by the time we get to midweek. That low pressure is still with us, we think, on Thursday. But as I say, the devil's in the detail, probably pushing its way northwards and westwards, but that cool northerly wind around its flank will be noticed, definitely, with more cloud around as well. So temperatures are going to be more or closer to average, I think, Wednesday, Thursday. Come Friday, we think that that low pressure is likely to move out of the way, but it will leave us probably with a few showers and quite a bit of cloud, but it looks a little bit more settled, doesn't it? And hopefully that will continue into the start of the bank holiday weekend, but uh, the second part of the bank holiday weekend at the moment looking rather more unsettled with low pressure. And of course, as we move through next week, it is the Chelsea Flower Show. So that's a fairly indicative of what we're expecting through the coming week. It does look a little more settled with fewer showers by the time we get to Friday and Saturday. But if you've plans, stay tuned. <laughs>